Hello and welcome to another helpful Ramey Hart how-to video. In the next couple of minutes we're going to take a look at the steps involved in leveling the specimen stage. These steps will work on any Ramey Hart goniometer. Currently we're using a model 290 with Drop Image Advanced software. First let's take a look at the knobs located on the underside of the leveling stage. In the front you will see a silver knob which if turned will adjust the the front to back tilt. Next, on the far right, there's a knob which, if turned, will adjust the left to right tilt. And finally, there's a knob in the corner which has a black handle. If turned, this will lock the leveling stage. So in order to proceed with our, our leveling, the first step that's involved is to loosen the lock screw by turning it counterclockwise. This allows freedom of movement in order for the stage to be leveled. Next, we're going to take a look at our drop image software and we're going to focus the baseline. In our live image window, you can see that we're currently out of focus. In order to focus our, our baseline, we need to bring our stage closer to or further from the camera by adjusting this knob here, located on the post below the camera. Once our focus is complete, when we look at our live image window, the baseline will be nice and crisp, as you can see here. Next, we're going to go to the pull down menu and click on contact angle tool and then contact angle. This brings up a new menu called the contact angle tool, which has an option on the pull down called setup. When I click on setup, a baseline setup dialog box appears which shows my current tilt angle at 2.9 degrees. Now in order to adjust that tilt I'm going to come back to my stage and I'm going to turn this knob on the far right clockwise in order to decrease that angle. So as I turn that clockwise that value changes from 2 to 1 and finally to 0. Now if I turn that knob too far the value becomes negative. In that case, I have to turn it counterclockwise in order to bring it back to zero. Once I've reached zero, my left to right tilt is now finished and I simply click OK on the baseline setup dialog box. Now the technique that we like to use here in order to accomplish our front to back tilt is to bring our micro syringe assembly or we could use our automated dispenser to produce a small droplet on the stage. Now when the droplet is, is created, I can then look at it in the live image window and by using that same knob I can focus it. Now if I were to turn the screw located in the front of the stage clockwise, that will bring my stage lower, which if you see in the live image window, creates a shape that looks much like a football. If I were to turn it counterclockwise, then it raises the front of the stage, but it brings the baseline in front of the drop, which is not desirable. So our goal is to turn it clockwise until we can see, just begin to see the tips of the football shaped drop. This allows us to select a, a baseline so that we can then measure the contact angle properly. At this point, my leveling stage is now leveled and the final step is to turn the black knob in the corner clockwise in order to lock the stage so that I can proceed with my contact angle measuring. That concludes the leveling process.